Compound angle formula application question 2. Find exact value of cos 15 degrees or cos pi by 12. Now, we are going to apply the compound angle formula to figure out what is cos of 15. We know what is cos of 45, cos of 30 degrees and we know 45 minus 30 is 15. So we can write cos of 15 degrees as equals to cos of 45 degree minus 15 oh sorry minus 30 degrees right so 45 minus 30 gives me 15 right so once I know that I can use my compound angle formula and figure out what is the value of cos of 15 so that's the beauty of this compound angle formula it helps us to figure out and to find out or evaluate cosines and sines or the trigonometric ratios for different angles. Now, here we'll definitely need two special triangles, one 45 degree one, the other one with 30 degrees. So let's draw them before we even head on with this given situation, right? So this is my 60 degrees, 30 degrees, 90 degrees, uh, 60 degrees, 60 degrees, and that is my 30 degrees, and this is my 90 degree triangle. Now here the sides are 2, 1 and square root 3. Let me also draw the other triangle which is 45 degree triangle. Now in the 45 degree triangle the sides are same 1, 1 and square root 2 is my hypotenuse. Correct? That's my 45 degree triangle. Correct. Now it's always good to draw these triangles so that we can straight away read the values. Use this formula to expand cos of 45 degree minus 30 degree. So cos A minus B is cos A cos B plus sine A sine B. Remember, this sine is kind of reverse. Do you see that? If you are doing plus, this is minus. If you do minus, it is plus. So we get actually cos of 45 degrees times cos of 30 degrees. This was minus, so it becomes plus. The reverse of this, sine of 45 degrees and times sine of 30 degrees. Correct. Now, what is cos of 45 degrees? Let's have a look at this triangle. 1 over square root 2, edges inside, 1 over square root 2, and cos of 30 degrees is, look from here, adjacent to square root 3 over 2, times square root 3 over 2, plus sine of 45 is 1 over square root 2, same as cos 45, and sine of 30 degrees is opposite side of 1 over 2. So it is 1 over 2. Now we have same denominators. We can have common denominator of 2 square root 2 and the numerator we have square root 3 plus 1. Now that's the answer but a better way to write is to get rid of square root 2 from the denominator. We call it rationalization, right? You all know about it. Let's do it. Let's rationalize it so that we write our answer without any radical in the denominator. To do that, we will multiply and divide by square root 2. Okay, so let's do distributive property in the numerator. Square root 2 times square root 3 is square root 6 plus square root 2 divided by square root 2 times square root 2 is 2 and 2 times 2 is 4. So that is our answer. Perfect. So that's how we do this in degrees. For radians, what can we do? Now, see, to start with, we wrote cos of 15 degrees as difference of 45 and 30. So, same strategy is in radians. We need to write pi over 12 as angle in, in which we can use the special triangles. So, cos of, phi, cos of pi by 12 can be written as cos of 3 pi 3 pi by 12 minus pi by 12. Correct? What is 3 pi by 12? That is cos of pi by 4 minus, okay, 3 pi by 12, 2 pi by 12, which is pi by 6. So, cos of pi by 12 could be written as 3 pi minus 2 pi, right? So, basically, let me rewrite this as cos of 3 pi minus 2 pi 
over 12. That's better, right? So, so you can write cos of pi by 12 as cos of 3 pi minus 2 pi over 12. Now, 3 pi over 12 is pi by 4 and 2 pi over 12 is pi by 6. And you know, pi by 4 is this triangle, correct? That is 45 degrees. And pi by 6 is this triangle, perfect? That is 30 degrees. So use these triangles, rest of the calculation is exactly the same and get your answer. So whether it is in degrees or in radians, the strategy is to split the angle in a way so that special triangles can be used and you can get the result, right? So